these twists on pulps from yesteryear are sure to bring a chilling fear. Turn your radio up enough to catch all of our spooky stuff. Cuddle up inside your crypt. You're tuning in to Look Ma, No Script. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh. Tonight's spooky story is the legend of Sleepy Hollow, where Ichabod Crane, a school teacher, finds himself in the glen of Sleepy Hollow, a spooky place where he's plagued by creatures from the nether worlds. That story is happening, but so is this one. Let me tell you about the story of Sleepy Hollow. Hey, stop <sighs> sleeping. I'm trying to tell you a story about a place called <laughs> Sleepy Hollow. Okay. All right. Listen up. So. Listen up, young man. What is your name? Uh, Bernard Charles. Wow, you had to think about your name. That's very interesting. Is I couldn't. I my actual name's Barnyard Charles, but I was like, okay, how can I come off as not some barnyard kid? You know, I'm Bernard. Okay. Oh yes, isn't your mom farmhouse? <laughs> See, yeah, you know, you know, we call her Farmy. It's kind of like it's more of a name than farmhouse. But yeah, she named me Barnyard. And she got married to Farmy Hammer. Farmy Hammer, farmhouse. Uh, her maiden name was like Fields. It was just very on the nose. A f- f- uh, family of farmers, but uh, a family of farmers. You got it. Oh yes, uh, excellent, yeah. excellent. All right, Barnyard. You've, yeah, you've distracted me for far too long. Let me tell my story, <laughs> young boy. Barnyard Charles Hammer is my name. <laughs> Tell your story, please. Tell your story, please. I, I will. You've insulted me for the last time, you insolent fool. Oh, I never meant any insultation. The worst that's insult the is the one that's not meant. All right, anyway, back True. many years ago, I was a young boy named Ichabod Crane, and I just moved to a place called Sleepy Hollow. It transitions to a man sleeping at a desk. Uh, Ichabod Crane's my name. Uh, Hey, Ichabod, are you sleeping on the job again? (laughs) Oh, uh... Mm, I was, but, uh, I, I know you got anymore. transferred here from Awakesburg, but this is Sleepy Hollow, and we do not sleep on the job here. We only sleep when it's hollow times? Exactly, at the hollowest uh, of times. Uh, Awakesburg was so cool, you could sleep anytime, and then when as soon as the moon sh- came out, you were awake like a bat, and you came and you flew around, it was great. Uh, yeah, what do you, what do you want, boss? I, I was just finishing up these sleepy paperwork. You're, you're a school teacher and you're in the middle of a lesson and you're, you're sleeping. One of the kids came down to have me wake you up. He's been trying all day. Ah, well, I hate that kid. He, he needs to learn his you place. You hate me? <laughs> I never use language like this, but in your place... Army, you're fucking dead to me, kid. I hate you. I hate you and your whole clan. Your whole ilk. I hate them all. Ichabod, I know we disagree about the way you teach children, but I respect the way you punish insolent fools. You fucking got it. That's why you're the boss, and I love you. Oh, I love you too. (laughs) Okay, good. I'm glad we're on the same terms about that. That's just our greeting here at Sleepy Hollow. It's very informal. I love it. All right. I love you. Get back to work. All right. Well, what was I teaching you kids? Some lecture about pumpkin. Advanced thermodynamics. Oh, my God. Really? Ah, let me flip through the book here. All right. Page 43. Open the book. Tell me what it says. 
It says that for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. This is only on page 43 of this. But this should have been page one. What, what is happening? We're in third grade. What do you expect, bucko? Oh, there was like a lot of intro stuff about how like rain falls from the sky and this little blue refracting light. OK. All right. Well, um, let's skip all this shit. We're just going to make trebuchets for the rest of the class. Oh, trebu- Wait, what does that have to do with? Th- well, I don't care. I'm a kid. It is thermo. We're- oh, I got it. Uh, it's not just a regular trebuchet. It's like the fire. Oh, fire. Cauldron. All right. Yeah, there you go. Oh, should, ah. oh we're going to like uh, light pumpkins on fire and, and chuck it at people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to. OK, so like I used to get bullied when I lived in a, a Wakesburg, uh, but we're going to we're going to trebuchet him over. That's the calculations here for my physics. Thermodynamics is, this is basically secondary to the trebuchet thing, um, but we're going to light the jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, it's just it's such a fun product. A Wakesburg getting jack-o'-lantern tonight you know what i mean oh yeah we're gonna mess them up hey maybe the uh headless horseman will go over there too and mess them up too hey wait what headless who well you've never heard about the headless horseman no no when you say horseman (laughs) is he a man is he kind of centaur-esque yeah no it is like he's he is just a a, well i mean he's a shot we've only seen him as a shadowy figure out in the woods but he rides around with a big old flaming (laughs) jack-o'-lantern on his head and he uh if he catches you on the other side of the bridge he lops off your head yeah so i guess we're trying to incense an evil spirit yeah i guess that's kind of the thing yeah this lesson yeah yeah, I mean, who's even the teacher here? I'm the one who's telling the story about the headless horseman. Yeah, so I guess we're trying to do that, okay? I guess we're trying to do <laughs> oh, that. Oh, I'm going to get some lip from the teacher. Yeah, I guess you're going to get some lip from the teacher because you're trying to describe my lesson plan, and I'm the one that's fucking teaching it to hey, you. So, hey, okay. hey, come on, why don't you just sit down? I'm, I'm the, the one who's in charge here. <laughs> whoa, 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 wow. What a, yeah, a, a display down. of authority here. Wow. A third grader? Dang. I'm big for my size. I'm yeah, three foot four. Big these days. This is crazy. You're two foot six, man. Oh, <laughs> Sleepy Hollow, tiny, tiny town. Very tiny. That's why they kicked me out of Wakesburg. They They're call like us the six, Big Acorn. They're like four feet tall in Wakesburg. It's crazy. It's a city of giants, okay. I tell you. Well, okay, step one. Let's far- gather pumpkins. Step two is cut the pumpkins, hollow them out. <laughs> hollow? And, uh... Uh, make them giant lanterns. S- step three is make trebuchets, whatever that is. All right. Well, the only place to get pumpkins in this place is across the bridge. So why don't you go over there? I'll watch the class for you, and then you can go on a little adventure. That's not a great idea. You had me for one second, but I'm going to call my boss in. Hello, boss. I love you. <laughs> and uh, he's going to watch the, sh- the, the, the you motherfuckers for me. I'll just get, lay out the knives for the jack-o'-lanterns and let you all know. I love you, Ichabod. What did you want? I love you, too. Um, You got to watch the class with the knives for a little bit. Um, Don't let them go all children of the corn on you, you know. (laughs) Uh, I got to go get jack-o'-lanterns across the bridge. You need anything? Uh, Give me some peppermint schnapps. (laughs) Okay. I'll give you some swishers and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and a 40. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. And duct tape just for later. For why not? Two two 40s and duct tape. I got you. All right. I love you, boss. Hey, don't forget, weekend starts on Thursday. We could, well. All right, I love um, you. I <laughs> love you, too. Goodbye. Can you make a callback every episode? Okay. Going across the bridge. Uh, oh, Ichabod, I love you. What's he... going on today? Oh, hello, my darling. I love you, too. Uh, what are you up to? C- Cynthia, uh, uh, my fellow teacher... You, you should be at school, too, probably, but whatever. I <laughs> well, was I going left to the go principal the... with them. <laughs> oh, no, I left the principal with my class. How many principals do we have? <laughs> Only the one. Well, they'll come by in the class. It'll He'll be like a block schedule. Out. That's fine. Um, yeah, do you want to come across the bridge with me? and uh, Across the bridge, pump- you say? What pumpkins? If, what, what if the horseless headman gets me? That's right, right? That's his name? Horseless headman? That's yeah. what I heard from the kid. I, he's, he's a third grader. I don't know what's going on. Oh, is that little Jimothy? Uh, yeah. Or yeah, Kevin the kid is so smart. He knows everything. I let him yeah, watch my think, class all the time. Yeah, I chased Army out of the, out of the uh, room. Oh, I hate that he, kid. He was pissing me the fuck off. But, uh, yeah, no, let... Horseman, whatever. I I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. It must be a local legend that you crazy guys are finding out. 
I, I don't mean, believe it. I'm not scared. I'm, I'm packing heat. How about you? Yeah, my dick. <laughs> Whoa. That was a joke. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll sorry, pack that away for later. You got to have a license for that. It's super workplace inappropriate. I'm so sorry. Uh, Don't let the yeah. sheriff see that. No. Oh, hey, speaking of a sheriff. Okay, no. Uh, I let's saw go that. Across the bridge. <laughs> now we really got to go across the bridge. Run! Okay, hope we don't run into any horse hand head horseman? Headless horseman. Who knows? Whatever. Who knows? All right. Um, it's getting pretty foggy out here across oh, the bridge. It's kind of spooky. Well, yeah. that'll, that'll make it easier for us to walk into this farm and steal these pumpkins. Ooh, yeah, under cover of darkness and fog. Because yeah. it's about 3 p.m., so there's still plenty of light. What are you kids doing in my swamp? I mean, my farm. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's Mr. Shrekman. Grab the pumpkins. Let's get out of here. Come on. Run. I hope the headless horseman gets you, kids. Come on, Cynthia. Run. You got to hurry Run. up. You're, oh. running, you're falling behind me. Oh, I there's got these... something behind you, Cynthia, oh, on what the is it? Is it a, I... a man on a horse? I don't really know what... It, it kind of just is horse shaped and oh oh my god Cynthia hey. he dropped the pumpkins <laughs> he no. got me my head has fallen <laughs> off and I'm still talking oh my god well let me put it in a no put pumpkins. it did you get the pickle jar oh yeah <laughs> Oh, oh. Mm, mm, mm. very briny it's yeah. uh, Ichabod's favorite pickle Watch out, the headless horseman's coming for you. <laughs> oh! Ah, this is so he can at you. Haha, <laughs> he can't get me. I got the dodge move. Hey, come on. I've been hanging out with, with a lot of third graders, and they're really short, so I know how to. Yeah, you know? plus being four foot six really helps, I bet. Or three I foot know, six, really I don't know. You're tiny. He's, it's a, one of those big horses, too. It's like he's really high up there, and he's really like. <laughs> trying to get down there, and they. Hey, hey, come it's on. not working, though. All right, lean in, lean in. All right, you got, you got two options here. You either run across the bridge to safety, he can't pass the bridge, or you run uh -huh. to my body. I've got a double barrel shotgun on my body, and you can blast him. The sheriff won't even, he'll turn a blind eye to it. He's cool. Where did you have that thing? That's what you were packing? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff in my bodice. Okay, let's, okay, I just got to dodge a few more. Okay, he's really going crazy for it. Okay, that's a big two barrels two barrels it's so big i know but you know it's safety first <laughs> it's kind of like a donkey kong gun yeah like it, sh it shoots like peanuts actual barrels it shoots yeah. peanuts well if okay if it distracts the horse man or horse is it a man on a horse or i haven't decided yet i haven't gotten a good look at it it's very blurry do, uh, do i load it it's not loaded oh crap Hey, you dang kids, you're still on my farm. What, what's going on over here? Oh, there's a headless horseman. Yeah, that's... You You summoned him here. What are you doing? Get out of here. I'm trying to get these pumpkins. I should have brought a wagon or something. Okay, well... Uh, I loaded the peanuts into the slot. Just, like, shoving peanuts in, I guess. I put them in. And fire at the... Oh, ow. oh! Oh wow! It really clobbered uh, you in the face there, Ichabod. The kickback on that is crazy for just being a peanut gun. I mean, I shoot that thing one-handed. I don't know what's wrong with you. Wow, that's bad. Do you I'm kind of hostile, aren't I? Too? Like, the <laughs> oh yeah, kinda Terminator style. That's crazy. That's awesome. Well, back wow. when I had a body, I you know was a, a gold medalist shooter in the Olympics. You're so. Fucking cool! Holy shit! Why? Why did we kill you so fast? Oh my god! These are the no stock, no stock sh bump stock thing. It's I crazy. Know. Man, I really wish I still had a body. God. Well, I'm keeping you in this pickle jar. I got your thing. I think pumpkin jar gun. Yeah. I can make it. That's perfect. All right, run back to the kids. Kids, what are you all doing outside? I'm oh, alive. Oh, I love you, Ichabod. I love you. Hey, you made it. That's great. No, I love you all, too. Did the principal let you outside for a recess, or what's going on here? You're all outside with knives? Yeah, we killed them. Oh, no. <laughs> Who could have guessed this would have happened? Really? You should have thought that was going to happen. I mean, you left us with the knives. I said don't do it. What am I hearing about knives and killing the principal? He was my brother. Hey. 
Hey, principal brother of principal. No, I'm the sheriff. Brother. Oh, <laughs> these kids all need to be locked up or killed. Who gave them Dave. knives? Uh, mm, we have one rule here in Sleepy Hollow. Well, we have two. And one is don't sleep when you're teaching a lesson, because rule number two is the kids get knives and they stab people. Cynthia did it. The, oh, and, oh, and she's dead. Okay, cool. It, resolved. <laughs> 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 And that's that. <laughs> and that concludes our bonus Halloween episode of Look Ma No Script. I hope it was really spooky for you all. I hope it wasn't, because it wasn't for me. <laughs> if it was spooky for you, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> there wasn't anything scary about that episode at all. I don't know, though. Oh, I, did, I did like when her, her head ended up in a jar, though. That was yeah, cool. that was spooky. That was pretty spooky. Pretty gross. Loved that's why, it. That's why we get paid the big bucks. That's why we get paid, paid the zero dollars. Uh, tune in next week for more just regular episodes. Yeah. We're done. That's October's it. October's over. We'll go full month of uh, Thanksgiving-themed uh, episodes. And then a bonus one on Thanksgiving. and A bonus one on Thanksgiving. It'll be all turkey-themed. Uh, just then... wait for the Labor Day month. That one's going to be a fun month. So much labor. Um... <laughs> Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, subscribe on your favorite podcatcher. We'll try and keep adding them to more uh, as they appear on there. Um, but yeah, check us out on Spotify and all that good stuff. Bye. Bye. Bye.